Hello guys, Susanna here again. As you can see, I've sewn, I've stitched them all together and it's looking rather awesome. So what I've done is I've got out a couple of buttons and and as you can see I did unpick this one and I redid it because it just matched so much better having those on there. So I just and I'm not happy with it, I've just got to unpick it. Um, it's got little spots here and I thought I'm going to just utilising these little bits and pieces I did similar to what I did with that so I'm just going to put that one there and that's got like that there so I'm going to have that there just something a little different and then I'm going to put this over the dots here I thought I'd use all three colours I wanted to even though this hasn't got a, got a little bit of purple in there and this is sort of like a really light purple as well so I thought that way I can bring it in going to put some buttons I'm umming and ahhing whether I put this button in the middle or not I think she is so cute but because this is going to go on my coffee table you may end up putting like a vase or something in that in the middle of it and potentially that little girl wouldn't work so I may keep her for something else she is so cute so um yeah, so I found found little bits and pieces. So today, what I'm going to be doing, it's going, this is sort of going to be a slow work in progress. I've got to do all the stitching and if I add any more little pieces and all that kind of stuff while it's not attached to the other tablecloth. So um, I had that look. I was thinking of having, you know, like cut that off actually where are we I'm not quite like having these little trimmy bits so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet but I thought I'll cut it cut it ready I like using them oh that's what I was gonna do I went to my sister's yesterday uh, yesterday and um oh, she's cleaning up some stuff and she said she found this it's so cute a little tiny little tin what did they have butter sweets that's actually from holland so um you've got the dutch rombolte bubble was it bubble lars or whatever you called so rombolte means butter i don't know what that other word bibelars i don't know how you say it Ugh, okay that's a bit hard to open but I thought it was cute and she gave me this she said I'm probably more likely to use it than what she did and I was actually thinking the other day um, this was my mum's from her sewing stuff and she actually told me what it's for so um, I just thought oh, I would have loved to have had more of my mum's bits and pieces well this was my mum's button thing and it's exactly how she left it so she'd she'd sort of sorted them a little bit into bits and pieces so i will be using some of these buttons but i also like that it was mum's and it's how she had it and all that kind of stuff so i think it's really um something special that i can use utilize some of these they're really different so i don't know where she got these buttons from they're pretty little but i love this one mother of pearl one oh, i like this yellow one i like that one that one would look nice there the colors are go really well with it so i haven't i put all the buttons down on here before i got my this one from my sister so um it's something that is a nice memory of my mum but um, I'm actually going to be using it as well. So where is, where did I see that? Uh, this one here. That might be nice for in there. No, I still think that one's better. Unless you're better off having a lighter one because it's going to stand out more. And it's only got two holes, which is good. So I'll put that one back. And it's my mum's. So I don't mind that. I really do like that with that. 
I wonder if that somehow can go on here. Just the colours are perfect. Do you hear any banging and clanging? It is my husband. Maybe we can bring a bit of purple onto this side to sort of um, yeah, purple there, purple there, purple here because it's got that green or I can put it right there so that once again if I have a vase or something on the table I really do need to keep that empty it may go there it would look nice there but then where would I put that? I was thinking of putting these on there. Maybe I can do that. And this way I could probably put that there. And then do that. Why you bringing in the, in the purple and these ones? I think that's it. I love these buttons. I think mean, I've always looked at these and thought, what the heck am I going to do with them? But since I've done watched um, um, and you know, you just you would use like a button hole stitch through it, or you know, you stitch through it, and I, I like that there. So. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good there, though. Oh, on there. I think that looks nice with the with those. I could probably put that there. There we go. Or have that on that one because I wasn't a hundred percent happy with that. Okay, back in there we go. Just me having a bit of a play around. I think I'm happy with that. I think I am. And I like that there. So that means we're going to need something there. It looks like a shirt. I like that. Um, I'm bringing in a little bit of the purple as well. go okay well anyway instead of sitting there yapping I think we need to get some stuff down so what I need to do I'm just going to put that on something something a little bit more fresh and this never know Ooh, I quite like that that way they're all a little bit different Because I've got this for something else in mind. I finally finished stitching that one. And I'm going to put that on there like this. And this is going to be the star on top of my Christmas tree. So I've got to put a little bit of elastic behind. So I might leave that out for that. My tree is finally done. Well, one of them anyway. The one with the lights in. It looks like an actual tree tree. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get some glue and glue this down, you know, horror of horrors, but you know, and then I will do stitch it down like I've done here. So, and I've got a um, thing that I'm making for all you, I thought, I haven't done any journaling stuff for quite some time. And the reason why I haven't is because there's only so many journals you can have. And I, you know, like I said the other day, there's only so much you can keep in your studio. And, um... So I am going to, I bought something at my local um, shop, which I'm going to um, t 
turn into I thought well I'll incorporate my sewing which I really enjoy doing and I'm just going to make journal covers I've done that in the past I've, I've painted them and all that so I might be going back into making maybe some hand painted journal covers and all that kind of stuff and um, I might even do some more of my keepsake journals as well because I really like them and that's utilizing book pages which is a good thing I might even glue these down I'm going to sew them but I'm going to glue them my I'm committing I'm committed now I'm committed mum special one there we go so at least they're going to be staying there So nothing too exciting in this video just seeing what it looks like now after I've sewn everything together and putting the buttons on like anything it's a work in progress okay I will face it that way push it down get another one of these is perfect this is um tacky glue So that will just keep it in place and hold it steady while I sew. Now, definitely want that one there. Really happy with how this is looking. And there's another one of my mum's ones, which is cool. I love that I'm using it in the reminder of mum, especially because this is going in the lounge room. I'm still, mm, I don't know, I may not glue that one down just yet. So, because um, I haven't had really a good look through it, so I might do a few more trial trials. It may, may still go there because that's sort of like, this purple is that light purple and then this purple is that dark purple so um, and it goes really well with blue but we'll see how we go so for so for now and we'll put that off to the side and then I'm going to I wonder if I'm going to yeah like this like proceed to sew all these buttons and stuff on that can be used with that okay well that's another thing I had to show you guys I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes um, that's why I've got this sitting here I'm up to hit this now I've it's like a, a mini version of that so what was it going to be the brown one that brown one that button was going to go in the middle there love that it just it's it's sort of got a bit of a pinkish tinge to it so um i'm now up to the point where i'm putting all of these on that outside as well and then i'm probably going to do some more of these colors it's it's just one of those ones that's going to grow and um i've since bought a different color where are they different color polyester cotton which I'm going to use um, for my I bought I thought if I get a darker color and then all these colors here are for my vintage uh, housewife stuff because they're the main colors that I got so um, because I mean it looks okay but I mean it was because this is I thought I get the white you can't really see the white there on here but you can see it a little bit and the other one but I, lo I love it and that's in the um what's it called that hexi form so those things are going to be staying in there which is great i really like it i'm not sure what i'm going to make with it yet but i just love my sister really loves it she loves snowmen so 
um, yeah, just a nice little thing that I can take with me and um, sew as I go, as, I, as you say. Now, put this away and um, I'll just proceed to sew a button on and then this one. Hopefully they're sticking down. And then the rest, I'll definitely, I think I'm going to use that for that, use that, definitely will use that. I'm wondering if I should use all six. It'll look a lot like this actual thing if I just do a few little things around it. It'd be so cool. And this one, I may put this colour what do you reckon? Okay, we won't worry about the green so far. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, I haven't so, um, glued that down. Well, I'll do that later. Because it's a bit hard to move these things. Okay, well, yeah, that's a bit that's already on me, obviously. Meant to be. I'll just do this and then I'll... Um, turn it off and then the next video will probably be something else because um, I'll be doing all this sort of you know you don't want to watch me sew on a button and be bit, bit boring and any other stitching and all that kind of stuff I'll do in the background and then I'm, the next one I'll show you I will have sewn it onto the actual um, tablecloth and then I'm probably going to just do a bit of hand quilting or whatever but you'll get to see it all completed on the tablecloth I will make sure I do that so, but like with anything, it's hand sewing. Everything, all of this is being hand done. So, it's going to take a bit. Now, I wonder how they do this. Where it's just... Been sewn on, or whether I do a blanket stitch, or if that'll work. I think it might. Yep. yep. She says that she totally stuffs up. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry guys, I put it through the actual thread through the thing, <laughs> great, yeah I might do a little blanket stitch, so I may have to start on the end, I think that might be the way they do it. Start on the outside, methinks. I'll show you. I oh, know it's at the front somewhere, the blanket stitch pinwheel. There it is. Ah, so maybe you do start from the centre. Yeah, you do. mentioned that quite a few times I really love this book but I've gotten quite a few books from um, the thrift shops that have got a lot of these um, embroideries and stuff in it okay now uh, I'm gonna do find the hole there winning guys I tell you <laughs> looks like oh it comes from there so maybe it was that way oh good lord sorry 
I'm glad you're being patient with me. <laughs> oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. So you start off at the edge, which makes a little bit more sense. You don't want it to. Then you come in. This B on the inside there, and then you. Go like that. And I think we need to loop it around like that. There we go. Now, um, then you go back in through this way. So that loop is there. And that's got to go underneath. There we go. So that works. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit different, but that's how it goes. And then go from there. Find that there. Anything a little bit different takes a little bit getting used to, but that'll be fine. Huh. And then I think you could probably even put a button or something down the bottom. I don't know. Don't know. Hmm. That. Hmm. Pretty cool. Like always like doing something a little bit different. And okay. Yes, it's cannot believe it is. Now that five weeks till Christmas. Oh, shocking. Shocking, shocking. I haven't done it. It's come up really quick. I've got a few few more things to make. And because of the coronavirus, it's been a little bit harder. Everything's got to go online. I always like to prefer to... What the heck? Something hasn't gone right. Oh, good lord, guys. Anyway. Looks like I didn't connect that. I wonder how I might have to go on to um what's her name's channel and have a look how she's done it. It's gotta be an easier way. Maybe I don't do the blanket stitch and I'll just sew it on. Oh, don't know how informative this video has been. So, anyway, at least you can sort of see where I'm going. And then um, I think I might just, just sew it randomly through. And, um, yeah. It's got to be a different way of doing it. But because it's on plastic, it's going to move. It's just how it's going to be. I think this is the way I usually do, do my... Button stitch, buttonhole stitch. Okay, hopefully, this will work and it's a bit faster. There we go. Now we're making a little, little bit of progress.
see sometimes doing what it says on the instructions you, you're you're taught a different way it doesn't always work that looks see how much faster i'm going it's almost a bit like stitching um doing a bit of crochet okay not that i would know i haven't done crochet but the probably the only crafty thing i haven't really done is crochet and i'm like oh, i'm so reluctant to learn how to do it because it's just another thing that i've got to add to the list but it's another skill i suppose you're never too old to learn as they say i'm sure i'll pick it up pretty quick there we go yes sir now we're making progress that's cool i like that see Good things come to those who have a bit of patience. Okay. Well, I think we are probably done. And then I'll um, catch you in the next video where I'm actually going to be doing... It is making some journals, but I'm going to be doing some sewing with it. I bought some beautiful fabric and... Um, cutest little panel with lovely colours and stuff on there and I'm going to turn them into uh, journal covers so I'm still incorporating some of my sewing in there, how good is that look at, I like that yeah see there you go, one side one side got it I think it's going to work okay cool, there we go I think the big secret will be make sure that you get a big enough piece of thread because if I have to stop halfway because it, it does move I don't know how that's going to go hmm. so hopefully hopefully I've got enough husband's working on the kitchen at the moment hopefully I have it ready for Christmas I've got this beautiful new kitchen in and because it's an old house and the floors aren't level and there's all this work they need to do to get it ready. Okay, now, there we go. That's the progress that we've done. I'm going to glue that button down, wherever that is, there it is. And then um, I'm ready to um, go to the next video. There we go love these buttons they're so beautiful where's me here it is <laughs> blends in okay guys well thanks for watching and i'll catch you down the track not getting anything it's a bit of a slow and steady progress but i love it i love it okay guys thanks for watching bye